Ty Lopez once said, a compliment given to you by a hater is your truest, most valuable asset. I believe the same could be said about the people who hate on silver, but still always figure out a way to compliment it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. Today, I wanted to talk about the best thing about silver. Not from my perspective, but from the perspective of the people who don't even like silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about the best thing about silver. Now, what actually inspired today's video was a comment that I had received over the last couple of days. It was actually very similar to a lot of other comments that I've received over these last couple of weeks. It seems like I'm getting almost the same comment from different people on different videos, on different occasions, and for different reasons, but they all say pretty much the same thing. A lot of people will comment on my video saying something along the lines of Silver's good for storing wealth. It's great for bartering and trading if it ever got to that point. But it hasn't gone to a trillion dollars an ounce, therefore it's a terrible, horrible thing, and I hate it, and I protest it. Meh. I added that last part. But that's basically what they're saying. They're saying that it hasn't gone to the moon. It hasn't gone double, triple, quadruple in value over the last couple of weeks, but it is good for storing wealth. It is good for bartering and trading if it ever got to that point. Now, what's funny about the comment, the same comment that I've gotten from a variety of different people over the last couple of weeks, is that they are complimenting silver while simultaneously seeming like they're trying to insult it. And funny enough, when people give a compliment and an insult at the same time, Usually it means that they have more admiration than they do a distaste. And if you guys don't know who Ty Lopez is, he's this social media marketing guru who buys businesses that are pretty much on the brink of failing. He revamps them and he gets them back on track. But he said one time that when a hater gives you a compliment, that's your truest asset. And I kind of took what he said and spun it in a direction of precious metals because you'll oftentimes hear this over and over and over from a variety of different people and it doesn't just have to be about silver it could be about gold it could be about this it could be about that they'll say yeah it's good for this but dot 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 and then they'll give some type of complaint or some type of negative feedback or they'll share their opinion about something and in this case they said it's a way of storing wealth and it could be good for barter and trade, which is a fact, but dot, 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 it hasn't gone to a million dollars an ounce, therefore it's a bad idea, which is an opinion. So they start their statement off with a fact and lead into an opinion, and that opinion can just kind of just go right out the window because everyone's entitled to their own opinion. If you think silver is a good idea, that's your opinion. If you think it's a bad idea, that's your opinion. Regardless of what you think of silver, I'm still going to stack it, regardless of what he says or she says or, or they think about silver. We're still going to be stacking it. We're still going to be converting our dollars into it. And we're still going to be involved in the precious metal world. We're still going to be focusing on that long-term wealth preservation. However, hey, really quick, I interrupt this video to let you know I am going to be going live tonight in the VIP club around 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, depending on what time this video gets out. Link in the description if you want to join. It also reminded me, I don't think I have haters. I don't think I really give anyone a reason to hate me. I could understand if you don't like me. I'm okay with that. You might not like my views. You don't like my stance. You might not like my opinions. You might not like my videos. But none of those examples are a solid reason to hate somebody. Hate is a very strong word. So I don't think I really have any haters. However, there is one person who has been following what I do on YouTube for several years at this point and still watches to this day, but he'll go on over to Instagram and I've seen him comment about my name on other people's posts and people have actually sent me private messages that he sent them about me. He's like, oh, that DYDSS guy, can't stand him, blah, 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 blah. And 
Funny enough, what this guy has said on more than one occasion, even though he claims to not be able to stand me, he has said, but he's very consistent and I'll give him props for that. So that right there is a compliment. If you're complimenting someone while simultaneously trying to insult them, it means that you admire them more than you have a distaste for them. So thank you very much for saying that. I am very consistent. I have posted videos every single day for, I think four, maybe five years at this point. So yeah, that's a fact, starting out with a fact. Yeah, he's consistent, but I can't stand him because blah, 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 blah. Compliment, fact, insult, opinion. That's the way I see it. Now back to the silver and the gold. Let's talk about gold for a second because people have their fair share of things to say about gold as well. Funny enough, you get a lot of comments from people saying, no silver, blah, 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 but gold is better. Gold is so much better. Well, guess what? Gold has haters as well. People will say gold is the ultimate form of wealth preservation. That's what I say. That's what I believe. And a lot of people will agree with that. A lot of people, when they think of gold, they think of royalty, they think of kings, they think of true generational wealth. But it's so expensive, it's such a waste of money, blah, 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 blah. Compliment and an insult at the same time. The compliment's a fact, the insult is always an opinion. So let's get rid of the gold just for a second because I wanted to focus on silver today. As the title of the video says, and as I intro the video by saying, the best thing about silver, according to the people who can stand silver, what is the compliment that they kept giving silver? They kept saying that it is, in fact, a good way of storing your wealth. It is a good way of protecting your finances. It's a hedge against inflation. Sure, it hasn't made you a multi, multi, multi billionaire. Sure, we're not the, the Jeff Bezos of, of the precious metal world because we're stacking silver, but truth be told, I don't think anybody's trying to become the Jeff Bezos or the Elon Musk or the Bill Gates or the Steve Jobs of silver. That's not really what silver's for, if you think about it. I mean, those guys made their millions and billions of dollars in their businesses. They didn't do it by stacking the silver and the gold. Silver and gold, they're a way of saving money for the long term. They're a way of protecting your money, keeping it safe from inflation. And yeah, typically they do go up in value over time, but that's mostly because the dollar bill typically goes down in value over time. As days, weeks, months, years, decades go by, good old dollar bill, become weaker and weaker and weaker. That's just what happens. Inflation, prices go up, purchasing power of the dollar bill goes down, and typically when currency gets weaker, real, true, honest money gets stronger. That's just the way it is. That's just what happens. But the point I'm trying to get across is that those guys who made their hundreds of billions of dollars probably even more than that as a collective. Those guys were involved in businesses. Some of them were involved in the stock market. Some of them were involved in real estate. And that's typically where wealth is generated. You can generate wealth. You can produce cash flow. You can make profits, business, stocks, and real estate. But when it comes to saving your money rather than earning when it comes to saving your money that's what people turn to silver and gold for that's what people use the precious metals for that's just the way it is i don't know what to tell you if you don't agree with me but when it comes to silver what do these people keep saying they keep saying that it's a great way of storing your money it protects you from inflation it's financial preparation and if push comes to shove, you can use it for barter and trade. Now, even though that that's true, I don't think I would really use it for that. And, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not really a big believer in, 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 in everything coming crashing down and we get to the point where it's like this big, terrible, horrible, disastrous doomsday situation. I really don't believe that's even going to happen. But if something like that were to happen, I would imagine that silver and gold 
and your other preps such as purified water, such as food, such as this, such as that, would make for excellent items for barter and trade. People already do that, and it's not even a disastrous situation. Well, one could argue that it is a disastrous situation, being that we just got out of 2020, which wasn't exactly known for being the greatest year of our lives, but point being is that the people who don't like silver still figure out a way to compliment silver. They can complain about it all they want. They can share their negative opinions. They can watch all of the silver videos and comment on all the silver videos just to let us know how much they don't like it. But 99.9% .9 of the time, they always figure out a way to compliment it as well, which brings us around full circle. If you're giving a compliment while simultaneously giving an insult, you admire it more than you have a distaste for it. That's just normally the way it is, and you can tell. It's, it's crystal clear. It's clear as day. It's evident. If they had a true distaste for silver, call me crazy, but I don't think that they would be getting on YouTube and typing in silver video, silver stacking, silver coins, silver rounds, silver bars, and watching all of this content. I don't think that they would be dedicating a solid portion of their day to watching these 15 to 20 minute long videos talking about the coins, the rounds, and the bars. Call me crazy, but I don't think that's the case. I think they truly like silver. I think that they maybe have an incorrect perception of silver. Maybe somebody introduces them in the wrong way. Maybe they said, hey, it's an investment rather than a way of saving their money, like a physical savings account almost. It's an investment. If you put your dollars in, it'll go to a million dollars. Bing, bang, boom. Problem solved. No more poverty. We're going to be rich. Lamborghinis. Here in my garage. I think a lot of people have an incorrect perception of what the precious metals are for. That's just my opinion. But funny enough is that if silver goes up in value, we, as the people who are stacking the silver and the gold, we see capital appreciation. But if the spot price goes down, that just means we can get more at a discounted price. So the way I've been seeing it for a little over three years now is that we win either way. Price goes up, so does our net worth. Price goes down, we can grab more. There's not a whole lot of other options out there where you legitimately win both ways, in my opinion at least. Friendly reminder, I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take anything on this channel as financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. But I'm very curious if you guys can head on down to the comments and let me know, what are your thoughts on the people who compliment silver while trying to cover up the fact that they actually admire silver or at the very least maybe that they're slightly interested in silver or, or they, they want to know what we have going on over here and they want to see whether or not people who are involved in stacking if they're reaping the benefits or if they're happy with the decisions that they made to convert their dollar bills into silver like i said yeah they'll insult silver but at the same time they'll be complimenting silver. So let me know in the comments if you've ever come across somebody like this. And it doesn't even have to be about silver. It could be something that somebody said to you. Maybe they said you're a terrible, horrible person, but you're pretty good at this or you're pretty good at that or, or, or something. Let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything related to today's video topic, regardless of if it's about the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I will be going live tonight, probably around 8 or 9 p.m., depending on what time this video gets out. And I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of the YouTube videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1500 and I appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way 
please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what are your thoughts on those who attempt to insult silver, but they're simultaneously complimenting silver? Do you see it the way I see it? The haters who give a compliment is what sheds light on what your truest assets are, your most valuable assets. If somebody says something negative about you, but something positive about you at the same time, 99.9% .9 of the time, that means that's your best skill or your best quality. So head on down to the comments and let me know if you see it the same way I do when it comes to the silver and the gold. And also, do you see it the way I do when I said that if the value goes up, so does our net worth. If the value goes down, we can get more at a discounted price. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.